VW manufactured, exact fit, wasn't $380 like dealer quoted and was delivered quick, fit perfect and mom's car is on the road and happy, this is an OEM part that works well I normally purchase and install aftermarket parts, in this case, only purchase the OEM I've attached pictures of the aftermarket and the OEM seal between the oil filter housing and the engine block, the OEM seal is 50 to 100 mil thicker, the thickness difference was enough to stop the leak I've replaced this oil adapter filter housing 3 times below are some of the lessons learned, 1. Use VAG Tool 1921 coolant hose clamp pliers for VW Volkswagen Audi needle nose pliers will add 30 to 60 minutes. 2. Use triple square bit sockets, M10 and M8. 3. Only use OEM due to gasket issues. 4. Clean engine block gasket surface. 5. I replaced it by removing the front end. I'm afraid of cracking the plastic manifold. 6. Normally takes 3 hours from the front end hope this helps. I contacted the seller before ordering and they checked the part against my VIN the part was a perfect fit for my 2012 Golf 2.5 the install was tough as you have to remove a lot of components to get to it very soiled genuine VAG part. I installed this on my 2010 Jetta 2.5L engine. After having an oil leak, it's exactly the same oil filter housing I removed from my car, as they both have the same brand marking, and the same part numbers on them. At the VW dealer, this part was $450, no way I was gonna pay them that much also, if you're a little bit mechanically inclined, you can definitively tackle this job over the weekend, but you're gonna need some special tools, triple square bits, hex bits, among others if you decide to do this job yourself, there's two routes you could take, a, access the part from the top of the engineer, remove front bumper removing the front bumper to access the oil filter housing it's easier, it might look more complicated but it's definitively easier. Look up videos on YouTube on how to do this job good luck.